Challenge yourself with something new. Over the past few years, I challenged myself with many new things. And I took on many tasks that I never believed I would be able to accomplish. And because I challenged myself with something new over and over again, I was able to rewrite the timeline. Each and every decision that we make for our everyday lives is changing and altering the timeline. We change the timeline for ourselves, for our family lineage, and for the collective. And that's why during this time period, it's important to stay focused on who you truthfully are. If you could do something that nobody else can do, would you do it? Over the past few years, I changed many parts of my everyday life. I challenged myself to take on people, things, and situations. And because I believed in myself and because I stayed connected to God, I overcame everything. You might be seeing me for the first time in a very long time. Tonight we're on many different platforms and your Uncle Mike took on everyone, everything, everywhere, and came out on top. You have to stay focused that you could challenge yourself with something new. You know, growing up in Brooklyn, I lived my life a certain way and I wanted to be responsible and I was trained that way by my mother. And you grew up and you went to college and you became a science teacher and you did certain things and you followed what you were quote unquote supposed to do. But then the matrix started to deteriorate. And maybe over the past few years, you saw many things that were wrong with this reality. So what you did was you started a journey to take back control of our everyday lives. You stuck forward. You moved forward every single day and you stuck with it. You never quit regardless of what came in your direction. People, things, corporations, nothing could stop you. That's where you have to stay focused. That's how you have to stay determined. Challenge yourself with something new today. You might have a dream. You might have an idea. And in order to bring that dream, in order to bring that reality into this realm of existence, you are going to have to take your conscious thought and back it up with radical action. I'm here to teach each and every one of you authentic manifestation. I'm here to teach each and every one of you your God-given gifts. There's going to be people, there's going to be things, there might be corporations, there might be something out there, the boogeyman. Ooh, you better watch out for the boogeyman. <laughs> there's going to be people, things, and situations that talk you out of it. They try to talk you out of it, but all you have to do is just keep going. A lot of times, we think of the demons, we think of the devil. In reality, these exist as subconscious programs. And that's why, as you move forward on your journey, you have to be mindful, you have to be cautious of these people that creep into your everyday life. They might start to implant subconscious programs that don't belong. Lack and limitation subconscious programs. Believe in yourself. Start creating a brand new reality. Today, I'm in higher vibrations because I believed in myself, because I stayed connected to God. And regardless of who came in your uncle's Mike's way, he obliterated it. If you could do something that nobody else can do, would you do it? People are gonna come in your way. Situations are gonna come in your way. But I told you a long time ago, the obstacle is the way. The obstacle is the way. You say to yourself, God, why, why did this happen? Why was this put in my path? Because I am the conqueror. And the king has returned. 
is now the conqueror. The kings and queens of the new earth are rising right now. Are you a king? Are you a queen of the new earth? People are going to remember your former self, but that was the persona that the matrix gave you. Ever since you were a child, you knew that there was more to this life. You knew that you should have been the leader and you were listening to people, things, and situations that didn't have your best interest in mind and they didn't have the best interest in mind for the collective. That's why we're out here in higher vibrations now, living it up. We're all able to live in abundance. We're all able to live a happier life, a life of joy, a life of meaning, a lot of people ask your Uncle Mike, they say, Uncle Mike, what's the meaning of life? Oh, it's real simple. It's not so, it's not so difficult. You see, a lot of people, they, they don't have your best interests in mind. They, they try to make it real difficult for you. Your Uncle Mike will teach you the meaning of life right now. The meaning of life is to live a, a life of meaning. The purpose of life is to live a life of purpose. I could have done the same thing. I could have followed what everyone else did, but I decided to do what I believed for myself within the sacred heart. You have to start believing in yourself and stop giving your power away. You're better than that. Each and every one of us have the ability to rewrite the timeline. I stand here victorious today in many different ways. I've rewritten the timeline. We rewrite the timeline for ourselves and then as the lighthouse, we have now rewritten the timeline for others. Some of you have heard of the hundredth monkey effect. Did you hear about that? The hundredth monkey effect. Now other people are gonna see your light. Oh, he did it, she did it. Now they'll be able to do it. He escaped the matrix. He defeated the matrix. She defeated the matrix. Now they're going to do it. The return of the king is now. You have the ability to change the timeline. There's been a lot of talk about this timeline, lady. Haven't you seen it? So much talk about changing the timeline lately. And you've seen it over the years. Recently, I shared a world famous video on YouTube, Quantum Chaos. You might be seeing your Uncle Mike for the first time in a long time. And I infiltrated the quantum realm. Your consciousness is able to penetrate the, the quantum realm. The bird agrees. <laughs> when you penetrate the quantum realm, it's very unpredictable. You have a plan. You have to stay focused on the, ba on the basics. I sat alone with God. I looked at my life. I looked at all the, all the trials, all the tribulations, all the things, all the obstacles. And I sat with God and I said, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is what I need. And then all of a sudden, all these interesting things started coming into play. In the past few weeks, after the solar flares, are you aware, are you conscious and aware of the solar activity, increased solar activity that we've been having? It is causing these changes. You are broadcasting an electromagnetic field into the quantum field. That signature that you put out into the quantum field, it went out, it's coming back now. It's being amplified by the solar activity. So what I have placed, I stayed focused for a year, I stayed focused on what I'm creating. I stay focused on what I'm building. I stay focused on myself and God. And everyone else can get out of my way. When you find this place, do you like this place? Let us know in the comments. Do you like this place? <laughs> when you find this place, you have all the power. Where's the place, Uncle Mike? Where's the place? The place is where there is no fear, where there is no guilt, there is no shame. You might be seeing me for the first time in a long time, or maybe the first time ever. 
the scale of consciousness, the fear, the guilt, the shame. You know these terms? Do you know them? A lot of people don't know the shame is actually the lowest, the filth of the filth. Do you have people that shame you in your everyday life? Get them out. Anything that causes shame, anything that causes guilt, get them out. Fear, we tackle fear, we rise up to acceptance. You find yourself when you have risen above fear, guilt, and shame. When there is no fear, guilt, or shame, you're able to create everything. I could just grab a recording device and just go. That's all I do, film in one take. I take it, I go. I'm able to do this because I have no fear, I have no guilt, I have no shame. I know thyself. A lot of people don't know thyself. They're trying to play pretend. Your Uncle Mike is who he is. We are who we are. I build, I create, I teach, I lead. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? You gotta know it today, kid. You gotta know it today. Regardless of the platform that you're seeing me tonight, believe in yourself. This is the next wave, the next wave of ascension. This ascension is not unicorns, rainbows, spiritual wackadoo, or whatever else anyone wants to gaslight you. This is happening, and this is happening right now. This is our ascension to the next level. You're leveling up. We're all leveling up, and we're becoming the best version of ourselves. Every single day, I get stronger. Every single day, I get younger. Every single day, I expand my consciousness. Every single day, I strengthen the connection to God. Every single day, I create. Every single day, I build. The birds are liking this one today. <laughs> you could feel the Holy Spirit fire. This is all connected. Whether it is biblical, whether it's scientific. This is the greatest teacher that has walked this earth. I'm here to take the slings and arrows. I'm here to bring people together. Whether you look at the science or the spirituality aspects of different things, I was set forth by God to make these connections, to teach people, and not only to teach people, but to show people. Practice what you preach, son. Yeah, practice what you preach. So many people talk about it, but they don't be about it. And many of you know your Uncle Mike. You know him from your everyday life. And I never stopped. I never gave in. I took everything back, and everything is going to be brought back to me tenfold. Oh, yeah. And for you that's getting this message, it comes back to you tenfold. You have to believe in yourself. When you think of these terms, the electromagnetic signature that you put into the quantum field that comes back, well, biblically, the seeds that I plant today will not bear fruit today. You know this. I'm here to make these connections. I'm here to teach anyone, regardless of your background. This ain't my first rodeo, kid. We're out here in nature. Oh, yeah. Do you love it? You got to get out in nature. When you get out in nature, you're gonna feel so much better. People suffer from nature's deficit disorder. You gotta get out of the building. You gotta get out of the box. You gotta get out of the cubicle. You gotta be barefoot on the floor. Yeah, you gotta be bare on the floor, baby, yeah. And that's where the power lies. Regardless of where you see me tonight, remember, there is real life evidence out there that you can ascend to a higher version of yourself. If you believe in yourself and you don't allow anyone to get in your way, you will be able to rewrite the timeline. Believe in Almighty God, believe in yourself. A lot of people only go one way. And I know that people, they say, oh, God's going to do it. Some magical unicorn's going to come down from the clouds and give us a new earth. But actually, the new earth is built by everyday life people, and it starts right now. High Commander is on the ground. If you find this message interesting and you would like to learn more about our reality in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, why don't you click subscribe, give the video a like so it becomes visible to more people, and please share with one other person because when we all share with one other person, we will rapidly grow our 5D community. I never stopped. I never gave in. I just 
keep going. Believe in yourself today. And you might be new to this. It might seem interesting. You might not understand it all. But guess what? Your Uncle Mike was there. And he started his journey. And he just never stopped. This is a time period of differentiation. When you hold on, when 99% of the world lets go, that's where the change happens. I love you all. Please subscribe to the Our Everyday Lives YouTube channel. You could connect with our family on Facebook and you could connect with our family on TikTok. Regardless of where you're seeing me tonight, let's bring the family together, cross platforms, right? This is a time period of bringing people together. There's been so much separation in the world. Let's believe in ourselves. Let's create a brand new reality. Oh yeah. Remember me? <laughs> Daddy's home. I am the defender of our everyday lives. No matter what comes your way, light warriors, just keep going when you have the inexhaustible belief in yourself. Now we have the evidence that we rewrite the timeline. Oh yeah. We rewrite it. Nobody else thinks is gonna write it. No one else is writing. Sit there, rewrite. Yeah, write and rewrite. I appreciate you all. This year, it's a year of the abundance. Become the best version of yourself, 1% better every single day. At the end of this year, the abundance will be there waiting for you. It's my honor to lead this charge. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. All of your attention, it's the currency of the universe. Oh yeah. Take the time, like the video, share the video. If you think it's gonna help someone, send the video to someone. Maybe it'll improve their everyday life. Believe in yourself. Nothing can stop you. Nothing. I am that I am. Oh yeah. And now, it ain't nothing but a party, kid. Yeah. High vibes. Not just the phrase. The truth. <laughs> <laughs>